Hey everyone, I'm out in the shop today and I just want to do a real quick video on troubleshooting the lid open error. Um, the first thing that tech support is going to have you do, they're going to have you check to see if this cable seated that's in the back and then on the edges of the door and then they'll probably have you replace this cable and if that doesn't work it's time to send it back to the factory or get a new lid from them. Um, one thing that you can do that they don't have you test is check the sensors that actually go in the front of the uh, machine here. So let's get started with showing you how to quickly troubleshoot that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is something to short the sensors out. You'll need two of them. Uh, the easiest thing, quickest thing to come up with that most people have in their house is a staple. So we'll tr use that. Or if you don't have a staple, you can just take a, a, a old uh, cable from like a PC or a, a lamp or an extension cord and cut with a razor blade just part of the wire out. And then you carefully not to hurt yourself is take the razor blade and go down the wire. And you'll find these very fine wires inside of the cable here. that you can pull out. Let me try and slice the rest of that open. There we go. So you get these really fine little pieces of wire out of there. I don't know if you can see that very well. So what you're going to want to do is take your staple, if you have a staple or the wire, and bend it in a little U-shape like this. You can just do that with your fingers. And once they're bent, you have them probably about about a tenth of an inch apart. So you have a couple a couple of these, and then let's go back over to the Glowforge. All right. So if you open up your Glowforge, you'll see in the inside. And I've removed this cover because I've actually modified my Glowforge. But you'll see in the very corners at the top of the LED strips, there's a little tiny connector there, and that goes to your sensors. And there's one on each side of the machine. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this one that I shorted out. I'm, um, yours won't be removable unless you remove this cover. So, yours will just dangle down roughly like this. And you'll have to work in a really tight position. But since I have one that I can remove, I'm going to take it over to the bench. Okay, the reason I've taken this over to the bench is so that we can actually see what I'm going to show you how, what to do here. So you take your staple that's bent over. I'm going to try and do this so you can see it. Is right at the edge of your connector. You're going to slide the staple across both of the connector wires in the back so it's touching the little metal piece in there. And then you're going to plug it back in. And let's go back to the machine and I'll show you what happens. Okay, so I'm back over at the machine. Um, when you're working on this, unless you remove this metal cover in here, which you need a little Torx screwdriver to do, you're going to have a very short wire to work with. So you're going to have a, not a, such a fun time trying to get this um, wire in there to short the connector out. But as soon as my machine's on, but yours may not be, but as soon as you plug it in, the lights on the, the LED strips brighten up if your machine's on. Um, then you can just try and close the lid and run the machine and see if it actually has the lid closed, detected closed. Anyways, I uh, hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. I have more videos coming. Catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.